Good afternoon, everyone. While people get settled in, I'm going to start prepping ingredients, getting pots and pans. Gamba, hello! Welcome on in! You're hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Is someone finally going to cook alongside with me or? Am I still cooking alone this week? You can get ingredients yourself. love <laughs> what do you mean I've always used this theme for the uh, cooking streams you're poor it's just regular food what do you mean um, binary uh, it's go to material vendor and read the description of the items it's Ibalab's essence for the times 10, it's all steer and it's something else. Okay, so first things first, we have our cod. It's been defrosted, that's why there's a lot of water in here. This is just cod, it's just really it's not leaking, it's just water because it does narrow it down. He he is a smart boy. He can figure it out himself, like he should have already. Double. Okay. First, um, we have our cod, our potatoes, and garlic, parsley, and two eggs. That's all we're going to use for the uh, main dish. But first we need to get the water boiling. So... Stove on, get some salt. lid to help the water boiling and to save energy and we're going to get these potatoes peeled up these potatoes are fairly large so it will be okay to just 
peel them and then throw them into the water before we throw in the eggs as well. Uh, we will need those 12 eggs. Uh, two of them will be for the main dish, and the remaining 10 will be for the dessert. I just want to get these done first. And then we will get started on making one of the steps of the dessert, because that one takes the longest. That's... we're going to be making another syrup. That's indeed a big potato, yes. There we go. That's one. Just go ahead and plop it right in. Comes the next one. Maybe. The music also wasn't probably as loud as it is now. I think some settings have changed. But if uh, either my voice or the music is too loud, you just let me know. And I'll get that fixed. I'm, what am I cooking? I'm cooking cod and then um, an egg pastry. In our streams, I usually try to make one meat dish and then fish. Unfortunately, the meat dishes are predominantly pig or pork, and the fish dishes are predominantly cod. Because we are a coastal country, and the majority of the fish that we actually catch is cod. Would have thought. Just gonna get the potato pills out of the sink, and we can then lop the eggs. Sweden, uh, Norway. Actually, we usually um, no. I'm Portuguese. I live in Portugal, but we fish in uh, Norway's waters for the most part. Well, that's not quite right. Um, our cod is Norwegian. Okay, so that's that one. Now. Out of our 12 eggs, we need two, so let's grab two eggos. Put them in carefully, and just let that go. Now, we need another pot. Small pot. And we're going to weigh out the sugar and the water. There is also another way to do this, which if you don't have a scale, is measuring with, well, either an actual tablespoon or this. 
I have these plastic, colorful measuring spoons. They're quite handy to have. Uh, I would prefer metal, but since I already own a set of plastic ones, I just won't be buying any new ones. I think they. I have a set on my throne, though. Not too sure, don't remember. So now, the TLDR of this recipe, or this measurement here, is one spoon sugar, one spoon water. So, we're going for 20. One. Two. Three. Keep them as flat as possible. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And I'm not doing a 20th, uh, because I'm pretty sure most of those spoons are a little bit too generous. Also, I will not be cooking paella because that's Spanish, and I'm only cooking Portuguese food. So now we need to get 20 of water as well. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Now, this has to boil for around 5 minutes until it reaches the point we want, which is the called pearl point. What is pearl point? Is basically when you scoop up some of the sugar, the sugar water, and then when you let it drop, first it releases a thin thread, and then it drips. Now... Yeah, it's not cross-national. <laughs> we don't even sell pay depends over here, at least not commonly. And if you want to do a good pay, you need the pan. Because it's cast iron, it's flat, and it's very different uh, in the way of cooking rice that we do. Okay. Well, that boils. Oops. Um, in that sugar, you can throw a uh, slice of lemon peel and a cinnamon stick. I do not have a lemon. So I'm just going to throw in the cinnamon. A stick of cinnamon. There we go. If I could actually open the bag. There we go, just a stick. Perfectly good stick. Also nice. 
Okay. That pot is starting to boil. And I don't want that to boil over. So. You mean paella? Because it is really good, honestly. <laughs> so I can't really blame her to that for that. Now, um, for this recipe, it is recommended that we put the egg yolks through a sieve. So I'm going to do that. I have here a container with a uh, not really a uh, paella is a mostly rice dish that is famous for its yellow color because it has turmeric in it. Yeah, I just had to clean my kitchen as well. I had this is last. And I made this shiny enough that I could see my own reflection on it. Uh, I like having my kitchen clean, at least when I do the cooking streams. Wooden spoon. Uh, it's, yes, it's saffron. Thank you very much, Doug. Turmeric, no. I mean, you can throw in a little bit of turmeric, but yellow is from saffron. Um, saffron powder, usually, if you use saffron strings, Goddamn you rich. Good, good saffron is really expensive. Like, stupidly expensive. Okay, eggs. We're going to put away the sugar since we are no longer using it. Uh, again, as I was saying, uh, paella can be pretty much whatever you want it to be, though it is mostly uh, seafood. Like, if you pull up the paella emoji on Discord, it is made with seafood. But you can't have a paella with just about anything. It's just a way of cooking rice uh, in a way that the bottom becomes crispy. I'm going to lower the sugar a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and sieve the eggs. Don't see them all, please. Okay. Just filter out the egg whites because we don't actually want them. It doesn't matter a whole lot if you get any into mixed in with the yolks. But it's not what we want. So if you see a little bit of string, that's fine. Some snot. That's okay. Normally people tell you to crack these on a flat surface. That is to prevent too much uh, shrapnel. It doesn't matter if you know what you're doing a little bit. Chicken, chorizo, and shrimp. Yeah, I had... I was in Spain um, a while back. Also, you want to poke these so they start going through. Um, and I had it with... Um, the mushrooms. It was really good. It was really, really good. Okay... The 
sugar is now dissolved, it's starting to boil. Oops, that one popped, it's fine. Does not eat anything that includes fish. Well, you're missing out then. Fish can be really good, especially if it's a uh, fatty fish like salmon. Salmon is so good. A proper grilled salmon is absolutely amazing. And if you've ever had salmon fish fingers, you know the good shit. It's surprisingly good. Because you think like, oh, um, isn't it going to be too sickening because of all the fats? And in reality, no. It's actually really good nonetheless. Trying to get rid of that one. There you go. And now, we eat tons of salmon in Canada. That's really nice. Salmon is expensive. It's worth it, though. Um, the reason why we are sieving the eggs is to reduce their scent, or so the chefs claim. It's like the pungency of the egg comes from the membrane that involves it. It's probably fished over there as well. Not sure. It's just we are still a small country. Not nothing compared to Canada. You, could, you guys could fit us in your your bre your coin pocket, like no big deal. Okay, that's the last one. I don't even need to count them this time. You only listen to Chef Raven? Well, I'm not exactly a trained chef just yet now, am I? I have considered doing, like, cooking training and all that, but at the same time, I would rather just not, because it could be wasted money since I do not want to do this professionally. So, might as well just keep it as a hobby. Okay, the sugar is now boiling. Uh -huh. Lower it a little bit. It has to boil for around five minutes. So it's currently 525. At 530, I will pull that out of the heat. Let's check on the, the potatoes. So the dishes have now washed, or rather the machine has washed. Let's leave that open. My glasses are now all foggy. We're poking the potatoes to see if they are clean, sorry, cooked through. The reason this knife went into the machine is because I was not the one who put it there, and it's already dinged. It's hard, a little bit hard to see, but it already has a dent in it, so it's no real use worrying about it. So, obviously you're going to poke the biggest one. Yeah, not cooked. Let's check the other ones though. Eh, not really. No, this is trash. <sighs> okay. We can. I'm going to chop these onions up, get them into the pan that we need to fry off the cod. Gonna use this big boy. Big cast boy. Cast iron. 
billet handed me down handed down by my aunt. If you want to, you can press this along with a fork or a spoon. I'm just going to let it hang out because I am in no rush. So, I'm going to wipe the board real quick. Make sure there's no egg and or water. So, we good. I'm going to move the parsley off going away. Because we're not going to chop it just yet. We will need the garlic and the onion. Chopping board, here we go. That's correct. Done. Y'all know knife safety by now. Hello, Astrid. Have I have you ever tried Canadian poutine? Uh no, I have heavily considered it though. Because it does look good, however, my in Lactose intolerant ass just looks at it and it's like, I would die eating that. Seems worth it. Should, we should do it. I'm just gonna tear off this top layer of onion. I have no patience today. Like zero. It no, love, it's not chicken soup. Our poutine is French fries with mozzarella cheese curdles, and then you kind of cover the whole thing in gravy. It's very much not chicken related. Just pop some lactate. Uh, I, from experience, lactate doesn't do much. But maybe it was just a bad batch or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I should try it again. I ha I do own a box of black day. This one is also seemingly not wanting to cooperate all too much. Mr. Onion, please. There we go, that's another half. I don't know why I peeled the other one, but I didn't... Sorry, cut the other one in half, but didn't do that with this one. Probably would have made my life easier the first time around. Okay, and that's... that's peeled. Get rid of the onion skins, because we don't want that. It's a good Portuguese dessert you'd highly recommend. The famous pastel de nata. I promise that at some point I will make them on stream. However, I would probably have to dedicate the entire stream just to that. Because it's very labor intensive. Like, the filling is super easy. But the... The shell casing itself is super difficult to do and get right, and also time consuming. Oops. Motherfucker. Well, those egg whites are going in the bin. That is a shame. Okay, it's 7.30, we're turning that off. Mm, not really thick enough yet. Boy, you go further in, excuse me. Too much of a mess. It's... 
this is not as thick as I want it to be. I also don't want to turn into caramel though. Um, but yeah. The Pastel Mata is critically acclaimed worldwide for a reason. And that is because it's delicious. And also the uh, the desserts that I made last stream, also really good. But do be warned, if you have anything against eggs, Portuguese desserts are probably not for you. Because our desserts, or the majority of them, were made by bored monks uh, at their convents. Um, sorry, at their monasteries, yes. Uh, who were bored and had nothing else to do, so they just started putting shit together with eggs and sugar. And that's it. Our desserts come from boredom. So lots of custards? Yes, it's. Uh, it's lots of custards, lots of... Um, how to explain it? Uh, it's difficult to explain this to someone who has not seen them. So basically, um, there is there are multiple recipes, and I've tried to do one of them on stream, which is basically you make an egg, sorry, a, a cake, out of pretty much just egg yolks. And then the inside is running. It's like custard cake, but it's a cake. I'm gonna have to press this through, probably. Okay. You have lots of custards. Uh, pudding. Uh, pudding. 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 Yes, pudding. Pudding is also very common here. It takes a while to make, though. Olive oil, as per ingredients list. Be generous. We're not going to get much flavor in it. I think I know what you're talking about, maybe. Uh, if you look at my uh, previous streams when I did the Helm de Law, uh, yeah. This is our very nice uh, seasoning mix with salt, chili pepper, and ginger. It's really good. Now, we're going to have to scoot our work table, most likely. I'm going to check on the sugar. Yep. The sugar at is at the correct consistency. I <laughs> had your chili peppers, are nice. Okay, so... I'm gonna see if I can show you guys what this actually looks like. You see how it makes a string before all dropping together? That's the point you want it at. Also, I'm gonna turn the lights on. Yeah, probably a lot better. Start seeking tummy baby, wow. Okay, now that's behind me cooling down because we're gonna have to mix this into that. And if we just mix the eggs in with the sugar as it is right now, it's gonna scramble the eggs. We don't want that. Okay, um, gonna have to scoot the work table. Further away, let me get that sponge out. And now, do not do this at home. What I'm about to do, dangerous. 
Uh, and that is, I'm going to peel garlic and chop it on a slightly uneven surface. A stable, rather. The top and bottom gets sliced off, and then you just smack it on its side to get the uh, skin off. A little bit easier. This one didn't get a hard enough smack, and this clove is also not looking too good, quite frankly. Yeah, I'm going to get a new clove. This is not good. This one is, though. Also, for me to understand the joke, I would have to get the reference. Crush it first? Yes, it really I did crush. Uh, it wasn't a... It was a little bit too shallow of a hit, though. But saying that crushing it first releases more flavor is kind of pointless. No, it's not green in the middle. It's just ugly to look at. It's not rotten. It's just a little bit... Um, again, crushing it doesn't make too much sense when all the flavor is here and you want as much of the garlic in the pan, not on your board. slices or mincing it works doesn't matter a whole lot See, I don't listen to red hot chili peppers, so that's probably why. I don't have any already open garlic heads, so. Insert obligatory Jojo reference joke here? No. What's not Oh! Jackpot! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a single clove. It's a chonky boy. No, wait, hold on. It was two. It's still pretty damn big, though. I'm using this one. Oh, this one just popped in half. Convenient ish. To some extent. Yep. There is a species of garlic clove called um, elephant garlic. It is, however, unfortunately not as strong as the smaller version because the size has diluted the garlic uh, essence. So it is great to look at. It's amazing, absolutely. But it's not as flavor as you would expect.
we're just going to throw all that into the sink. It doesn't matter. We don't care. Same as strawberries? Yeah. Rinse the knife a little bit to get a smaller container. Uh, this little bowl will do. We're gonna grab our parsley and bundle it up a little bit. the green to be visible, not smeared all over our chopping board. That smells so nice. I need to stir that real quick. You ever done a bit of chocolate work? Um, I sell chocolate, but I don't actually make it. I have... It depends on how you mean. Potatoes are done. Before any of you heathens, even bears, suggest that I am scraping the uh, oh, um, I've made chocolate mousse and chocolate cake. I have never done chocolate truffles. No. Before anyone says anything, I am not scraping my work surface with the blade. It's with the back. Okay. Move that out of the way. I'm just gonna rinse that real quick. Probably not gonna need this anymore. Just not that. Okay. That's crackling away nicely. So. I'm going to get rid of these egg yolks. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. Um, now we need to clean out the sink a little bit so we can drain the water of the eggs and potatoes. Because I have a lot of eggshells and onion.
gonna get the eggs. Sorry, the pod in first. Don't do what I just did. You may stab yourself. Do as I'm telling you, not as I'm doing. Now, ideally, you want the cod to be in relatively big chunks. However, no. Because that one is already uh, rebreaded and it's on top of that frozen. So that wouldn't work. Let's get a bit of cold water. Shock, shock that. So they stop soaking. I would use ice water, but I don't have any any ice. What's my favorite way to eat fish? Um. It's either grilled salmon or sushi. It, it's a mood dependent thing, but yeah, those are probably my two favorites. Because grilled salmon on an actual flame grill is just way too good. Sorry. Uh, proceeding. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get a platter first because we need to plate this plate up the potatoes. And I've decided I'm going to do them like that. Isn't that hot? Yes. I am going to just lay them down here. On the bottom. These definitely could be cooled through further. Because as it stands right now, they are quite hot. Am I not burning myself? Potentially. Like I just did now. Poached salmon. Uh, I've never had poached salmon. Am I not just winking it at this point? Kind of, yes. We're gonna have to stir the cod once I get these out. This cod has a lot of water. And also salt.
I'm gonna change the water again. Well, that just wasn't cold enough. Chill out. It's gonna handle the hot potatoes pretty well. Take my hands to the fire constantly. Well, in my case, it's mostly because I don't care. Oh, that one broke. Jam. When you are cooking that sometimes you mess up but you shouldn't give up if you give up that's the same as having never tried you just use your mighty power of i don't give a crap yes they are hot if i don't get careful i will burn myself however if This one has unfortunately boiled for far too long. Definitely. Oops. In you go. You are fine. Yep. Enough. Uh, first degree burns on my fingertips and I will eventually unlock fire protection because that's a mom skill to have. Also grandma. And I need that skill. It's really good. Now we have a base layer of potatoes. Right here, they are all boiled, sliced into rounded pieces. It's nothing too fancy. This dish is overall not fancy whatsoever. It is really easy. Now we need to get the eggs out. The cod, I would say, is also almost ready. We just need to finish up the dessert. Eggs, they are boiled. You just give them a whack. You can do this under running water if you want. Makes it a little bit easier. There we go, I got under the skin, that's good. Now it's a lot easier to peel. There we go. If you're struggling, well, I don't know what to say, get good. I'm just kidding, it takes practice. It may not look like it takes practice to make a, a hard-boiled egg come out nicely, but that would just be lying. Uh, yes, we do. 
And we have really amazing hams. It's mostly cured ham. Look at how perfect that boy is. It looks like Endblade's head. <laughs> Some of you will get that joke, others not so much. I love you, Endblade. Have fun at Gamescom. Um, we have really good stuffed meats. The Portuguese alheira is one of the best dishes to have, honestly. Can never get it gets to... Okay, so the secret to peeling an egg clean is you boil it and then you dunk it into cold water to create a thermal shock. That's literally it. These look nice and cooked through. I'm half tempted to throw some paprika into the cod just to give it some color. I can also just do that afterwards. Okay, I would say that's done. why I love cast iron. Stick who? Ain't no sticking in my kitchen. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of paprika. After the egg. First we need to get Having a wet knife certainly helps for this part. Uh, I'm gonna turn you around to have some color on you. Hold the egg by the sides to prevent it squishing. We have this beautiful hard boiled egg. I'm just gonna layer it here. It's mostly random. Doesn't matter. Oops. You don't want the yolk coming out though. I'm just gonna hand hold it instead. Be careful if you do this. You don't wanna cut your hands. There we go. one did not come out too great, but that's okay. <laughs> the fucking yolk ran away from me again. Hello, thank you. We haven't done chicken yet, actually. No, wait, we did. Never mind. We've done chicken once. Uh, chicken in the pot. It was supposed to be a clay pot, but I only had a Dutch oven. I'm sorry.
Okay. You guys do octopus? Yes, one of our most famous uh, dishes is octopus. It's um, polvo alegreiro, which is basically you take the octopus, um, put it into a pressure cooker, no water, just an onion, and then you pressure cook it for a while, so it releases all of its water and cooks in it. And then you, at the same time, you need to have some small potatoes roasting in the oven. You pull them out, uh, punch them. You literally punch the potatoes. I'm not even joking. You drizzle them with a little bit of um, oil and, sorry, olive oil specifically, and salt. Then you put the octopus on top, usually... Uh, cut up. So if you have legs, you just section them over the potatoes and then you roast it for a little bit longer to get uh, the octopus with a little bit of a crisp. It's really good. Uh, I should do that, but it is very expensive to do octopus. So once the channel starts paying for itself, maybe. Okay, first dish made. There we go. It looks pretty. It's really... Oh, it's looking so nice. And now we have to finish up the rest of this. Uh, this is cooked. Here we go. Bacalhau a gomes de sa. And now we have to finish up the eggs. Oh, thank you, love. <laughs> so, spoon, I'm gonna push this through the sieve to help out. There is another traditional Portuguese recipe that involves doing this over also a sugar syrup. So you're basically uh, frying the eggs in sugar syrup and then we call those egg threads and they're used for decoration mostly. They're really cute, uh, looks really good. It's like gold threads but a bit more orange. It's really nice. Uh, I've seen octopus, red tomatoes, and blood oranges. With blood oranges, that's new. Unexpected? Sounds okay. I know blood oranges are quite bitter. Not sure how that would pair up though. Gotta be patient here. Okay, that's enough. So, you see now, all that is the membrane that was around the eggs. And that is what gives it its uh, characteristic eggy smell. have our sieved eggs and we're going to be 
making the rest of it. So this is going into the sink as best as we can manage because there's a bowl in there. There we go. Right, forgot. There's this in here too. That's what contains all the sulfurs? Most likely. Okay. This is still hot, so I don't want to put that there. Move that out of the way as well. I'm going to wipe the board. This can go in here too. Need it. We don't need you either. Oh, we had an extra garlic clove here. If only I wasn't blind. Okay. The reason why I'm leaving the pastry for last is because it dries out far too easily. So it's left for last for that purpose. The reason. Now, is this cold enough? I don't think it's hot enough that it will scramble eggs. However, it doesn't hurt to play it safe. I'm just gonna throw out the cinnamon stick. Don't eat it. It'll, sa it'll taste nasty. Or not too good, at least. So, start mixing as you pour in the sugar. So this has to be done quick. Just a little bit at a time. This bowl isn't too big, so I can't go probably as quickly as I would like. I will keep going as much as possible until it starts being too much. It smells so nice, but so nice. Like, you wouldn't believe it. Oh! Ken, thank you for the sub! Thank you so much! And hello! You've been missing for a while! Made that mistake when I was a kid. Yeah. Oops! This is getting... Okay. This is now getting a little bit too much. Let's do it a little bit slower. I think that's tempered enough. Like the sugar isn't hot anymore. So this now goes into could video got in legal trouble? Damn. Let's uh, not do that. So we're gonna pour that in. Okay, it's not scrambling, so that's safe. I have a scraper. Silicone. Get all of that good, good into the pot. Let's go. Did you get a red or something, kid? Probably did. You see that this is still quite liquid. You can't use this as filling for anything. So I'm going to take us over to the stovetop so we can reduce this. I want that at the lowest possible 
heat level. Um, hey, I think that's fine. And we're going to cook this until it starts thickening up a little bit. But you can't stop stirring, just a warning. Do not. In the meantime, actually, let's lower that back down. I need to turn the oven on, because I forgot, to 180 Celsius. I need to move the oil pan away. Okay. Okay. Move that back up. Also, I can't read chat right now, so I'm sorry in advance. stop stirring it you're going to scramble the eggs all over again you're you're actually gonna make pudding 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 I don't I don't actually remember the correct pronunciation in English chef out of ten the stove one max try and speed things up a little bit okay I see a little bit of boiling it's good yep starting to boil I can feel the consistency starting to shift a little bit. It's getting slippery.
Okay, I think this is starting to thicken up. This might take a while. I wasn't, I wasn't actually expecting this to be to take so long. Might have too much water. to do definitely oh I see it's starting to change it's getting thicker we're getting somewhere guys yep I the consistency that we are looking for is that when we scrape the bottom and we can see it it makes a, a road for a moment We're not there yet. We're working towards it. Let's lower the heat a little bit. Keep stirring. Keep going. We are getting there. I am looking at my phone so I can manage my so I can read my own stream chat. Because right now I can. So if Twitch could close Girl Liam's stream. Let's see, stream chats. It doesn't show backlog, well. Useless. It's thickening up, right not right up. Look at that beautiful thing. In before not as beautiful as you. Ha ha. too hard. This is a throwback to um, RT Games making 10,000 people watching paint dry. Let me go read chat while I start. NPC Music play WoW? No. Tower Fantasy? 
Um, no. It doesn't appeal to me whatsoever. I, I forgot to read higher up, hold on. Otherwise, at bottom gonna curdle? Yup. Gonna have to keep stirring the bottom. It's starting to thicken up real nice. It's already like two-thirds of what it was before in volume so yeah oops fuck oh didn't burn me but i need to be careful I, did ne I never realized that this takes so long. I was expecting the eggs to curdle a lot faster, actually. Once this is done, I'll have to transfer it to a different bowl, most likely, just to prevent it from continuing to, to cook. I think we're going to add too much, honestly. It says the recipe is for a few of these pastries. I'm going to see how many I can actually make. But I am going to try and make them small. Picking it up the heat. Can't see the bottom yet. It's not thick enough. It needs to be thick enough that you need three C's to describe it. Am I thick with three C's yet? The answer is no. It has to be fat. It's fat thighs. To halt the cooking process? No, it's fine. At least um, the lady whom I watched doing it did not even uh, move the eggs out of the bowl. She just turned the heat off and moved it up the heat. That was all she did. And I don't know. The uh, YouTube video with half a million views looks trustworthy enough to me. Almost, almost. Just a little bit more. Notice the color it currently has. It's looking so nice. On camera, it looks a little bit uh, less yellow. So, up close and uh, personal, it looks golden almost. It's a very vivid yellow. Bits of uh, orange on it too. I think it's now at half the volume that we started with.
over here, the eggs we use give our crystal a very deep orange color. Yes. Um, did you know, fun fact about eggs. The eggs, um, yolk, the color of the yolk is determined by the chicken's diet. However, it has no correlation whatsoever with how nutritious the egg is. Which is a fun and interesting fact. So, if you have a pen uh, of chickens and you feed them chili flakes, uh, this is fine by the way, uh, chickens do not feel uh, spice because they don't even feel tastes. Um, the eggs will come out almost orange. And this is a practice that is actually done, uh, if I recall correctly, it's in Japan. There is an egg farm that sells eggs at $82 a piece. And they feed their chickens with uh, chili flakes. Obviously, the rest is... Um, yeah, the secret, but it's mostly chili plates. I'm starting to get hot from stirring this. Oh, interesting. I need my mitt now because the whole pot is hot. It's still not thick enough. So all you have to keep going. I think I'm going to slow down a little bit to allow it to curdle further. Almost there. Oh yeah, definitely almost there. I can already start seeing the bottom. It's the start. Oh. Spluttering a little bit. No bueno. Holding it inclined so it doesn't spit on me. Oh. Is land popular in Portugal? Uh, not really. Only during specific occasions. It's popular during Easter, and that's about it. A lot of people don't actually like land, myself included. Um, it's it's good, but it. In order to make the lamb good, 
you need to put in the effort of actually removing the silver skid. Because if you don't, it tastes like actual ass. Copium. Still too runny. It's just the sheer volume of it that's making things complicated. Okay, I'm considering it done on the basis that it's starting to bubble up too much. You can only see it for a brief moment, but I'm considering this done. And I'm allowing the heat to carry over. That much more mild in flavor? Oh, interesting. I am interested in your lamb, Canadian. Hand it over. Okay. Now, we need to pretend that we didn't dirty any dishes. So. Okay. Okay, yeah. Now that... Hold on. As it's cooling down, it's much nicer to work with. I'm going to transfer this into a white bowl, make it easier. I love silicone spatulas. That's how you scrape something. That I almost ended poorly. There we go. 
Into the sink you go. Oh. Uh, don't worry about it long. I'll do plenty cooking streams. Um, it will be over... I wouldn't say soon, because we still have a ways to go. But it's not exactly at the start either. Okay, so... This is... Been cooking 1 hour and 30 minutes? Yes. Thank you for the follow, Cinder. I'm not sure if you prefer Cinder or Tamarack, so... Anyway, this is too small. I have decided just now. Please allow me a moment as I hunt down the baking paper that I'm pretty sure I have. my dismay, um, someone has finished the baking paper and did not bother to replace it with a new sheet. So, we don't have it. Instead, I'll oil it. An earlier cooking stream taking like three hours? Yes. Now, I need to weigh out um, some butter, half a cup. <sighs> Which is... Um, 110 grams. Please excuse me while I pull out the extremely complicated kitchen robot to weigh out 110 grams of butter. Really? 
Lee. Thank you for hanging around, Cinder. It will, I'm sure. It'll turn out because I had everyone here supporting me. Gotta wait for this piece of shit to turn off on its own before I can pull the plug. There we go. Now I need to unplug the laptop so I can plug in the microwave. While the guys wait, you vibe. I'm gonna get a brush. is now molten. There we go. Okay. So. That's looking better. Look at that consistency. It's still hot as fuck though. That's delicious. Wow. That is so good. It's really sweet, but it's so good. I can I don't have baking paper, so just gonna do this the bootleg way and brush it. Even though I shouldn't actually need to do this. Here comes the complicated part of all this bullshit. Let me introduce you to phyllo pastry. I've never worked with this before, but um, I know that this dries out extremely quickly. So we're going to have to work fast. And there's also the detail that we need to cut it's up into smaller pieces 
so we can make more treats. Now, I think just about any knife will do the job. Just need to be under careful. Fuck. That was not me, I swear. It's a halfway point. Bastard? No. I refuse. So, yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck it. Commit. Commit. Oh, they're cut through. Now it did. Yeah. We gotta be quick with this. You take one sheet, brush it down. This sheet is torn. Not great for a start. Not terrible either, but whatever. Take another one, put it on top. Let's coat these up further below. But now you take. I'm gonna take a heaped spoon of this. One more. That's not meant to happen. Go in there, please. Thank you. Okay, now you gotta roll them up. That this one's going to burst. Absolutely will. Before you give the final roll, rush here. And then the tips, you bend them up with a little bit more of butter as well to make them actually stick. Okay, first one done. Okay, love. Key time. Go, go, go.
this one, this recipe will take a while. Be forewarned. coming out with different sizes. Uh, yes, I am cooking. That's what I do. Cooking? Well, open your eyes. <laughs> I'm cooking pastry. It's in the title. What do you mean, what am I cooking? Ah. Well, can't save them all. thinking now oh, that one is ruins
that's an F. Unfortunate. Now this one is also slightly cut. I think I'm not going to have enough space for all of them. Why are they all coming out? Thorn in the middle. It's annoying. Welcome back. I'm gonna run out of a uh, egg before I actually run out of pillow. can uh, rewind and watch from the start to know what it is I'm doing and if you want to you can follow along I posted the ingredients out in the discord so you have access to them and this is a, a video tutorial Yeah, I have enough egg for this one and I think one more, yeah, one more, which is good because otherwise I would also run out of space in the tray.
This one gonna be chunky. God damn, that's good. I think they're good for the oven now. And that takes around 15 minutes. So, into the oven. And now I'm gonna set the timer for 16 minutes. Now, you can't really do much with these. I mean, I'm glad these are the ones left to the end because this one alone has three holes. You could probably manage it with... Actually, I think I can save this. Ah, fuck, it tore too much. Well, I can just make... Okay. Turn around. We'll make a savory one. Get some cheese at the top. This is either going to be good or a disaster. I'm hoping it's the um, the former. can throw this one in. Hopefully that one doesn't turn into a disaster. And while we wait, we have things to clean up. So let's do exactly that. These are unfortunately wastes. These, no, this is raw. Can't do that. I was gonna eat it. Just see what it tastes like. But it's raw. The sad part about today is that the washing machine is full of clean stuff. Uh, so you guys can vibe, I guess. Um. Fuck. I don't know how to entertain a lot of you in um, the next 16 minutes. To be honest.
Yeah, I mean, you can vibe, but vibing for 16 minutes is a bit to ask of the audience that I invited over to watch me cook because I already finished cooking. I just have poor management, time management skills. So, sorry about that. And I can't just... This is not pre-recorded, it's live, so... I can't exactly cut to the end either. You guys are gonna have to bear with me doing dishes for a while. Who am I kidding? You guys are used to it by now, probably. Okay, so... Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I've washed up the big stuff. stuff I will just take care of once the machine has been cleared. We have three and a half minutes to go. Mir, hello! Welcome on in. Oh, I'm gonna just wash a knife. Uh, at least my knife. It's fine. I think I hit with the back. Oh. Well, welcome back. Mir, have I shown you my knife? I think I only showed you when I actually bought it. Let's see. I, I didn't mean you, sir, Cinder, but you can see it too. This is the brand, Icel, or and as we call it in Portuguese, Icel. And then it has a black wooden handle that's shiny. It's a very beautiful knife in my opinion. I love it. It cuts really well. And it holds a very good edge, too.
Have you seen my knife? <laughs> well, out of context, yes. But Mir also had chef training. Whoops, don't want to squirt water over my laptop. bump that was me. Okay, let me... <coughs> Noise! This cutting board is as old as I remember. It's surprisingly in good shape. Considering how did everything turn out? Well, the main dish turned out perfectly fine. We had a bit of a bumpy ride with the fillo pastry, which was to be expected, but nothing we didn't manage to power through. The things are still in the oven, so we'll find out in a moment. Oh, actually, just now. So now we need to pull that out of the oven, I think. They're still looking too pale. Since they're looking too pale, I'm setting the oven to 200 degrees in fan mode and letting that blast for another five minutes. Um... Yeah, they need a bit of color. Otherwise, they just don't look as good. Um, so yeah. In other news, that turn. I think things went fairly okay. Nothing was a glaring issue, aside from a few sheets of phyllo pastry being uh, slightly torn. Um, yeah, Phil is very finicky to work with. This is not homemade either, so I could I wasn't expecting it to be like picture perfect, but I wasn't exactly expecting it to be slightly torn either. And there's also the issue that it dries out really quickly. I was trying to be productive and uh, put away the clean dishes, but with the PC and the way and the fact that the dish rack is in the mudroom and not out here, that's just not happening. Okay, they are starting to get some color now, the ones I buttered up fully. The cheesy one swelled up as well. Baklava. Oh, that sounds really good. The Greek dish sounds really good. Feta, lemon, and spinach? Oh, yes, please. I think I know to some extent what you're talking about. But I would have to look it up just to be sure. Because that sounds really fucking good, honestly. So now, we're gonna have to wait. I wish the camera was wireless, almost, so I could take you guys 
I'm going to try taking you guys down to the oven. Let's see. Can I? No. Hold on. Wait. Kind of. Fuck. Hold on. Camera barked. Yeah, boy! We got some of that oven action! I have no idea either, so do not worry. You're looking mighty... Fuck. That's what you want. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah, now that I know that the camera can actually make it to the oven, that could be more interesting. For the future, at least. Okay, there. I think they've gotten enough color for me to pull them out. If I make them next time, I will leave them longer. Be careful when opening the oven door, obviously. You have to be careful, but confident. You, don't, you can't be a bitch. Look at those boys! Aren't they beautiful? This is the, um... This one here, this one, is the one that did not get butter on top like the other ones did. They do look good, yes. Um, so let's see. This is the cheesy one. I want to see how that one turned out first. And I want to check the time. It's currently 7.30. So, a little bit early for dinner, but, nonetheless... It's not sticking to the bottom, that's like the most important part here. Oh my god! I'm just gonna use a fork, hold on. Oh, this one is... Okay. This is the savory one. You can just also make these like that. I wanted to get a cross section, but the bottom just is not having it. Now, there we go, finally. The cross-section on this one is not very glorious, but it's probably going to be similar to the egg ones. The egg ones are puffier, and I will need a knife to cut that. I think this is... this is going to be dangerous, so... It's a little bit too hot. Mmm! Mmm-mm! The crunch, though. I mean, hold on. I hope the the noise canceller doesn't cancel this out. No, what the? Hold on. I'm going to. Hold on. No. I have a noise filter on. I think. Advanced audio properties. No. Uh, filters. There we go. Noise suppression. Okay. I'm not sure you heard the crunch, but... Oh, 
Oh, so you, so you did. Good. So I was serving myself a plate of the cod. Here we go. Our bacalhau a gomes de sa with the boiled eggs on top. You can take the pictures now, folks. I, w I sh certainly will be taking some. And now I'm going to get one of these on a plate and get a cross section. Let's get a... Also, I forgot to mention, these at the end are um, finished off with a little bit of powdered sugar on top. I don't have powdered sugar, so we are getting these as is, and I'm getting a cross section in a second. Let me get these on top. Bread knife. That's going absolutely everywhere. There we go, look at that! They're still hot, I hope I don't burn myself. Mmm! Oh fuck me, that is blue. Wow. It's a bit buttery still, but goddamn, that's good. Um, like a cinnamon bun. Oh, you mean? Oh, you ro rolled up. Um, why not uh, cook it low and slow instead? You can cook it slower, and then once you know for sure that the pastry is cooked through, increase the oven to uh, allow it to crisp up, gain some color, etc. Or you can make the slices thinner? I don't know. It's just my suggestion. So yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our... Todd and our pastries and that will be it for today's stream because i am a responsible adult who has not yet had lunch so i'm gonna go and eat now <laughs> hunger motivates the soul to cook better thank you very much everyone i will see you guys maybe tomorrow uh if I, the, sorry, if I decide to cook again, there is, oh, Tsumi is uh, streaming, so let's uh, raid Tsumi with our six folks. Um, 
Well, well, Sender, you know the ingredients, you know the recipe method now, you can make it yourself and enjoy it too. So, thank you everyone for staying around, and mwah, have a good rest of weekend.